Hello YouTube, um, right now I'm showing you my review on, uh, this weather box car. He, many of you may, th may be thinking that I'm copying, uh, NVK Rail videos, but that's not really the truth. Um, I'm actually, I was actually planning to do this video for a long time, but, uh, I didn't know, I didn't really know when I was going to make this video, but as soon as, uh, the NV NVK Rail videos did this, um, his video, and then I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to, this, this might be the time to make this video. So, first of all, I'm going to start off with, uh, like, uh, showing you, um, the, the, talking about it. So, first thing, uh, I got the idea off the internet, I found this video with, a uh, really nice weather from Boxcar. So I got the idea of that, uh, second of all, the graffiti. Um, that was made last, so it wouldn't be covered up by anything. I should have actually done it first, but you can see I got, a uh, right here it says Yo, here it says, uh, G-E-L, something, uh, up here it says Mess, um, here it says, what's up, like, sup, and here it says, yes, with a little thingy. It's pretty nice. It's, uh, not that great of a graffiti, but it, it wasn't that easy. So, I'm gonna be doing more videos, as, like, just like my first one, off my stat car, which was not that great. This is, uh... Was, was, I mean, it's pretty good compared to my other ones. My other ones, this is my, uh, my fifth, yeah, my fifth, uh, post scale product that I've weathered so far. And, uh, yeah. So, now I'm going to talk on how I did it. So, with this print brush, it's, uh, thick on the top and skinny on the end, which helps a lot to, uh, like, push if I want it big. Let go if I want it skinny. So I kind of like just went across like that with some paint, some different areas, and that's how I did that part. It was kind of easy. And here I kind of brushed like down on all the spots here around, and then after when it started dry a little bit, I took the paper towel and smeared across down to make it look like really like weathered and look like it was like rained on and one time it like are all rusty. Same on the other side. But the top was really the hardest part of the whole thing because I ran out of paint for this side, which was really good. So uh, I had to make new uh, remake the color, which is hard because um it I can it was really hard to get the same color exactly the same. So that took a really long time to get it done. This part was the funnest part, to make some rust falling down from these clippy things up here. It was really cool, turned out really cool. I also smeared across down too, which is really good. I got some uh, dirt going across there, make it look like it's going across the tracks and it got like some dirt blown on it. Makes it look really cool. I got that a little bit on the wheel cage. I got a little bit on the coupler to make it look really realistic. Can't really see it. This is the cool part. Uh, this here, it looks like a lot of water drained from here. And it just fell down and rusted. As well as here, and the ladder a little bit. So, yeah, got some rust going down there. Uh, it looked, it looks pretty nice. And, it didn't take as long as the as NVK Rail video because as you can see um when you type in NVK Rail videos he's got great videos as well as his um weathered um covered hopper um so it's pretty nice and question and he did a lot more too so it, it took a while longer for him to do it so this didn't probably half an hour to get the paint done and then afterwards I went somewhere and I had to come back so I so then I finished uh, off the graffiti almost forgot to do it too 
and questions. You may ask me any questions. I do not care what question it is. You can ask me anything. Anything I'll question you. I mean, I'll answer anything. Um, I don't care if I'm wrong at anything. Please answer questions. Um, I'll, I'll answer anything. Okay, so, uh, so that's my quick review on uh, this CN Boxcar Weather. And bye.